when I sent for him, people that were supposed to come with him, they did not come with him. Nollywood, what is happening? People that are supposed to come with you, you know what I'm, who I'm talking about and who and who I'm talking about. Guys, this is a veteran Nollywood actor. When did they call Annie Emmanuel Chukwe Maker, popularly known as Ochemba? Like when he cried, come out some weeks ago, come appeal to the general public, say he need money. So they fly out of the country because according to him, it a battle with this sickness when they, they call diabetes and even resort to partial stroke with some of the he colleagues from the Nollywood industry, actors and actress share that video, that clip of video when it a cry come out for fun. They can share them for their Instagram page. And according to a report, the money when this man need, I mean Ochemba, nobody feel help and reach that target. So this our prophet, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto, when he gets Christ's mercy land for worry, invite him come church, come surprise him with five million naira. Even with those people when follow him come, he give them five five hundred thousand naira each. And he let us know some kind of things when we say they happen for the Nollywood industry like why the hate and why the jealousy why they know they support each other because according to our prophet he let us know say when he invites this man come church he expects say some of his colleagues go follow and come but to his surprise he concerns say now just this woman when follow and they sit down for their nine day there i just thank god for in life and i appreciate the man of god for this good work when they do so that is why sometimes make not they criticize men of God because really they they try. Yes, this our prophet Jeremiah Omoto, now one of those pastors for Nigeria, when they give hand to the less privileged. So, guys, I go leave you now with the video. Make you now watch and make you now pray for this man, Ochemba. Make it go for this surgery or this treatment and make it come back successfully. So, guys, enjoy the rest of the video and leave your comments down below. This is now Violet Bass TV. To all my returnees, God bless you massively for your constant love and support. And if you never subscribe, I beg, smash on the subscribe button and remember to put up the post notification bell so that anytime I upload any latest updates, you will get notified and be the first to watch. Thank you, guys. Just enjoy the rest of the video and leave your comments down below. Uh, Prince Emekani. That's my stage name. And my total names. Like if I want to claim anything from the federal government, from the bank, from the federal government, from the bank, the name I use is Annie Emmanuel Chukwemeka. Like I said, on the account names. Um, since last year, 2020, December 4th is the day I buried my elder sister. And during this burial, we were up and doing. I never knew what happened. But all I know is that after two days, on 6th, on 6th day of December 2020, I began to have pains around my buttocks. I could not sit. I could not lie down from that day. The next day being 7th, I called my doctor. He says he no worry. And he said I should start coming to, uh, to the hospital. I went there. After doing the checkup, go through some tests, he decided to operate on me. And I explained to him that I had this diabetes. And since 16 years, I've been going through this diabetes. He said, never mind, he knows exactly what to do. He carried out an operation on me. After three, four days, as he wants to open the operation, to continue with the treatment, he opened his, the place, and the place got rotten, as if they pour water on a loaf of bread. My buttocks got scattered and began to smell everywhere in the plot. I was in the hospital for seven good moons, lying down 
facing down. I cannot sit, I cannot walk, I cannot eat normal food because that is where I pass the escator. I suffer through all this. Within that time, my family, some friends around, AGN came and supported me then. I went through that and I began to beg him, please, you have to discharge me around July so that I can go ahead and source for money to come and pay the balance um, hospital bill. That was how I left. I left and began to struggle to make sure I do one or two jobs. Just along the line, stroke came and hit me down on a location. My right hand, my leg, my mouth, as I'm talking with you, I'm just talking for talking's sake. This mouth is not mine, but if you are looking at it, you will not see the sign, but inside me it is happening. My right hand here is just like it is inside a freezer. The same thing with my leg, from here down to my, uh, to my feet, very hot from that day till today. I began to go round and round and round, and somebody talked about coming to this church. My chairman here invited me that he is coming for Thanksgiving. That was um, um, September for what God has done for Lagos State Chapter of Actors Guild of Nigeria. For what, what God has done in his own personal life, he called me. I say I will call. He invited me alongside with Sister Cynthia Okereke here and Stella Ipwebu from Enugu. The three of us came all the way from Enugu and we attended the Thanksgiving. Here and there, I met man of God and explained to him what I am going through. But the greatest part of it is that I began to have this eye pains every day. The, 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 the eye will be adding the pain. Before I know it, the growth began to come out. Coming close to my black spot, I went to the doctor. I showed him. He said, this is cataract. If care is not taken, it's going to cover your eyes and you become blind. You have to do something. And I said, okay. I began to consult other doctors. My final consultation says I have to travel to India to do the operation for the eye. At the same time, they will check, check on the saw in my buttocks. As I'm standing with you, I am still wearing pampas, adult pampas, since that December to today. I walk around. I do everything I do by the special grace of God, not by my power. At the end of the day, I called another member of Actors Guild of Nigeria, a very known Nollywood actor. I explained to him, Mr. Yule Duchie, I called him just as we finish the last, this last program we did. I said, I have a problem. I've gone to hospitals. I am also praying with children of God. There are things that God can do immediately. And at the same time, if you have to go for medication, one has to go for medication while we pray. That was what I explained to him. Is there any way you can help me? He said yes. He does not have cash with him, but he goes to do something for me that I should record this piece of little clip and send to him. And if I send it to him, he will send it to some of his friends and they are going to contribute money and fly me abroad for treatment. That was what I did last week, Monday. That is seven days today. That is how the whole world came to know that I needed financial assistance for my treatment. So I think man of God saw it at the same time and sent for me. And that is why I am here today again. I want to thank you. God bless you all. All right. Uh, uh, Mama, you are welcome. Uh, the chairman of uh, the actors chairman of uh, Lagos has his. Uh, he's also the, you all know him. He followed him to that time. I did not take the thing serious like that, but my own surprise is he was crying on the air. 
for help. So I sent for him in order to support, assist. Because if we leave it like this, when something happened to him, oh, this actor, this actor, uh, what is happening with this actor? He was okay now, not knowing that. If you now show him, show you, if you now show you what is is passing through right on his phone, you will be surprised. The operations that they have operated him. But today, I sent for them. Let him come with some, with her and also him so that we can assist we pray God heal us but some we also support the sick in order to recover from their sickness today we are here to support you with some of 5 million Madam, come with the money. Lui qui souffre de diabète vraiment, du type très avancé. Then, Jeremiah Omoto Fulfilling Foundation here by also the people that who have come with uh, with him here. Where's my wife, my beautiful wife? Where are you? Come with the money. The secretary of the foundation. Now look here. You that. The one thing surprises me. One thing surprises me. I. When I sent for him, people that were supposed to come with him, they did not come with him. Nollywood, what is happening? People that are supposed to come with you, you know what I'm, who I'm talking about and who and who I'm talking about. They did not come with you. But yeah, the people that were here, that here with him. We are also here, those that who followed him, we are also, for their transport, we are giving them 500,000. 500, for their transport. For the love that you have for this man. I was thinking that some people will follow him here. We called, but what they told, what I had, I cannot say it here. There is no love in Nollywood. Don't come to my burial. When I am alive, I am suffering. You are not helping me. When I died, before you want to come and give me befitting burial, God forbid. So yeah, we have five million for your health. From Jeremiah Omoto Free Foundation. Alors aujourd'hui c'est un sujet de joie pour lui, il ne, si, il ne s'en revient pas de ce geste vraiment chaleureux de l'homme de Dieu, cet homme, cet acteur de la cinématographie nigériane, un homme de renom très connu qui est vraiment dans ce champ euh, depuis fort longtemps, depuis des années, il a même subi plusieurs opérations mais aujourd'hui il est à bout parce qu'il ne peut plus subvenir à ses besoins, alors on lui a demandé tant de sous. All right. Pour pouvoir vraiment payer ses factures. This is the 500,000 for your transport that will follow him. Mama, this is your 500,000. 
from Jeremiah Omoto Fufui Foundation. Alors, euh, même ceux qui l'ont accompagné reçoivent une somme de 500 000 Naira. Alors, ils sont tous émus. Et l'homme de Dieu lui a donné cette, cette somme de 5 millions d'aller vraiment prendre soin de lui. Les médecins qui ont diagnostiqué même une catarate. Et aujourd'hui, vraiment, c'était un sujet vraiment de temps d'aventure pour lui. Il est allé sur les réseaux sociaux pour demander de l'aide à tout bienfaiteur. Et l'homme de Dieu s'est porté garant. Et aujourd'hui, il, en... il est finalement l'un des bénéficiaires de cette grâce vraiment divine à travers l'homme de Dieu, prophète Jérémy, au monde prophète. Cher Tata, vous êtes en direct de Merci TV. God bless you. And God bless you. Now listen. I promise God. God, if you help me, this is what I have for your children. Um, I know you have something to say. What do you have to say to the people that who are watching us all over the world? Um, I want to begin to thank God for this wonderful singular mannerism from the senior prophet of God, prophet Jeremiah Omoto Popoye, the man of God, the man who practicalizes Christianity. I want to give this as a brief a start of my testimony. Last day, the last day when we were doing the program, he blessed everyone. He said, pick up a recharge card of 1,000 Naira. Scratch it. Send it to a particular number. Prayers will be offered to you every morning for one month. And I picked up this recharge card, scratch it. I want to fix the card, the card refused to enter. For three days we were here, the card refused to enter. I say it must enter. I left without the card entering. All of a sudden, when I got home, a call came. It was Papa's call, and he prayed for me. Before the prayer, he asked me, what do you want? I told him what I want is total healing from air to toe of the predicaments that have been disturbing my life and financial upliftment. These are the two things I requested. That's what and you requested in the program. The prayer request. Yes. The prayer card. The, what I'm talking about is the prayer card. Because I picked this prayer card, it did not enter the first day, the second day, and the third day. I did not give up. And I did not throw away the card. I insistently re uh, loaded the card. And the card is here. Why I'm saying this is that people should obey the man of God and do what he says. He saw it before saying it. Had he been, I did not pick this card. Will man of God pray for me? Will I tell him exactly what I want? And what I wanted is exactly what God is doing for me. Because if I had all the money, I would have traveled to India without asking anybody. Look at my hand. Five good million. Now, there's a surprise. There's a surprise. There's a surprise. Uh, this is Mercy City that you have been hearing and people have been hearing. 